But first tonight, barely 24 hours after DMK ministers resigned from the UPA, the CBI suddenly descended on the home of DMK leader and Karunanidhi's son, MK Stalin, this morning and started carrying out raids. The raids, the agency says, were in connection to the non-payment of duty for a luxury car. The story became more bizarre when top UPA ministers like P. Chidambaram said they did not approve of the timing. The Prime Minister later said he was upset, leading many to ask, how independent really is the CBI? The man who's said to have orchestrated the split between the DMK and the Congress, MK Stalin, got a rude wake-up call at 7 this morning. A CBI team was at his house searching for the luxury SUV Hummer. A 1.4 crore rupees luxury car his movie producer's son, Uday Nithi, bought in 2007, which the CBI says evaded all duty payments. You said Soon after the CBI team landed at the residence of MK Stalin, hundreds of DMK workers gathered here. They call it political vendetta, but CBI says it's a pure case of coincidence. A coincidence which sounded unlikely even for many in the government, as the complaint was registered just a day after DMK withdrew support from the government. CBI says it got details of the case from the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence last month, a department controlled by the Union Ministry of Finance. The complaint was against a DRI officer and a car importer for conspiring to avoid duty payments on 33 imported cars worth 20 crores in taxes. CBI says they landed up at the DMK leader's residence only to retrieve the car and not harass him. But even as the DMK was crying foul, they were joined in protests by the UPA's top minister, P. Chidambaram. Normally, I do not comment on the working of another department or another organization. But in this case, I have to say, I disapprove of the CBI's action. Whatever may be the reason, it should not have been done. It is bound to be misunderstood. The concerned minister for CBI's administrative affairs, even though he is not concerned with investigative matters, promptly ordered an inquiry. Why the CBI officer went there? No, I will have to find out what was the reason behind it. And CBI's top boss, the Prime Minister, also hauled up the investigating agency saying, we are upset, the timing is unfortunate. While government sources announced that they were ordering the sleuths back from Stalin's house, the CBI couldn't admit to such government control. They insisted the raid was conducted by their Chennai office with a court warrant. The opposition found an opportunity to drive home what they have always alleged, the government control on CBI. If this was a search in the normal course of CBI investigation, what business does the government have or the political regime have to interfere in the CBI and start stopping that search. The CBI has been left completely discredited and embarrassed by this entire controversy. Perhaps for the first time, the political establishment is asking for an inquiry because the CBI dared to raid an important politician. Also, by doing so, the political establishment has admitted that they control the CBI. With Sam Daniel in Chennai and Sudhir Ranjan Sen in New Delhi, Sunetra Chaudhary for NDTV. So the day after, as the DMK is raided, we're asking a sarcastic question for those of you who may not get it. The CBI is independent, they say, isn't it? Do tell us what you think. You can also write to us on our second screen app on your iOS or Android devices. Look at the questions there on the screen. Vote on the questions you'd like to ask the panel this evening. We have Renuka Chaudhary, Rajya Sabha MP and spokesperson of the Congress Party. Mr. Shishadri Chari, National Executive Member of the BJP is with us. Mr. Selva Ganpati, Rajya Sabha MP of the DMK joins us tonight. And the former director of the CBI, Mr. D.R. Karthike is with us as well. Let me ask Mr. Karthikeyan first. Mr. Karthikeyan, as a former CBI director, what do you make of today's astounding events? Well, it is very unfortunate and totally avoidable. After all, they must see what is happening in the country. If there is a case, well, whatever the inquiry was done could have been done 10 days earlier or 10 days later. Heavens will not fall if it has been delayed. But I have spoken to all the officers, including the director of CBI, and the officers in Chennai. Uh, they say it was unfortunate. They themselves regret the timing. And from what they say, I do not see any political direction for this person. 
for this particular thing. But unfortunately, because the credibility of the CBI has been questioned on many matters, today any charge against the CBI people are prepared to believe. So the reality is one thing, the perception is another. In public perception, they feel it could not have been done but for the political direction. But I am convinced in this particular case, the officers acted on their own. The timing was unfortunate and totally wrong. Well, you, you know, sir, that a lot of people just find that hard to believe, like you said, because the CBI's own credibility is, is the way that it is at the moment. But also the fact is that doesn't this expose that it is under political control? If it wasn't, as Arun Jaitley said, why would the Prime Minister and other senior ministers be talking about uh, looking at inquiries into this, having the searches stopped, talking about the timing? Obviously, you know, if, if this is a, a routine search and the CBI is doing its job, then let them do it. Don't talk about inquiries and how unfortunate the timing is and me what message it sends out. It means you are the political masters, right, Mr. Karthikeyan? No, but because the charge is, the perception is, the CBI could not have done it, but for the direction from the political bosses, that too immediately after the DMK withdrew the support. So that is why, you know, they had to defend the position to say that we have nothing to do with it. It is quite natural and normal for them to come out with a statement. That's why, you know, we have been pleading all the time, ensure the functioning of the CBA as an independent body so that the people's faith in the, organ the primitive investigating agency Would you concede is restored it's not an independent and retained. Body, sir? Would you concede it's not an independent body today? It is politically controlled? At least concede that point? My, I have always been telling, it is supposed to be an independent body like any other secretary to the government or any other organization.